Meanwhile, in light of the number of COVID-19 cases in prisons, the government is moving to protect the most vulnerable inmates. Minister Without Portfolio and the Minister of National Security, Matthew Samuda, says the specific plan will be announced soon. He addressed the press during a tour of the Tower Street Adult Correctional Facility today. Kirk Wright was there. Matthew Samuda, Minister with Responsibility for the Correctional Facility, says he is more concerned about protecting vulnerable inmates in prisons and not so much with the now talked about early release system. The minister says he is not of the view that there is an overwhelming need for the early release of so-called low-risk prisoners to free up space in the prisons. Human rights groups have been lobbying the government to release some inmates close to the end of their sentences or those deemed low-risk amid the increase in COVID-19 cases. The question is fundamentally how you define low-risk inmates. Because um, I don't know that someone outside of the prison system can do that definition. There is a, a full process that has to, has to be done. There is those who are at higher risk because of comorbidities who are nearing the end of their sentence who would be priority for different levels of protection. There are those who would be nearing the end of their sentence but would have no comorbidities and, and really have very limited risk to their own um, you know, health and, and stability. So it depends on where they are and there is an exercise underway. We're looking first and foremost at those inmates who are infirmed and then we move down the list. Latest figures show that 23 inmates and 33 staff members have tested positive for the virus. The prison doctor, Donna Mitchell Roy Poy, says most of the COVID patients don't exhibit symptoms. She says one patient is very sick and has been hospitalized. The others, we've already discharged um, six of them, and we're about to discharge five today from Tower Street who have completed their 14 days monitoring. The Minister of Health, Dr. Christopher Tufton, who toured some prisons today, says he was pleased to see the safety protocols implemented. All in all, I think there's definitely an attempt to keep the protocols, having put them in place. I want to commend the minister and his team um, for what they are doing, and we just want to keep it that way. Dr. Roy Pau explained, however, that with over 1,600 inmates and more than 400 staff members, physical distancing in the Tower Street Correctional Facility is virtually non-existent. But what we have to emphasize is the mask wearing and proper sanitization of hands and, and so forth. The mask wearing really has to be the important thing here because social distancing, we can't really do that. Are the prisoners conforming to the mask wearing? Yes, they are. Um, some of them have actually put up their own blocks in quarantine. They put up a sign to say that nobody from another block can come on unless they question them and sanitize them before they come on. She said about 40 are bedridden. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.